Hey, how's it going guys? Zera here. This was a very, very substantial news. I could not skip on this. Wow. So first I thought, like, wait, is this real? And I thought it was some kind of, you know, just a little bit of a joke going on. But, uh, well, no, it's a real deal. Microsoft has acquired Activision Blizzard. My God. And for a whopping 70 billion dollars. What the hell? The exact price was mentioned of 68.7 billion. Still, the staggering amount of price. Like, I mean, uh, with the news or information that we actually received that Take Two acquires mobile games giant Singa buy off 12.7 billion, and that was like about a week ago. And now we're getting news that's about seven times the larger amount of whopping almost 70 billion dollars that Microsoft acquired uh, Activision uh, Blizzard. It is simply incredible. I mean, this is very, very good news for a lot of gamers out there, especially since what will this mean, right, for Call of Duty, Activision, and they're all, all their games in general. So by the way, if we're talking about Activision, Blizzard, and King, mind you, right, they actually have IPs, and substantial IPs, mind you, Overwatch, Diablo, Call of Duty, World of Warcraft, Candy Crush, Starcraft, these games, these IPs, these studios, that contains nearing of about 10,000 employees. Can you believe it? Overall, it is simply incredible amount of it's staggering. It truly is. Microsoft have got very deep pockets for real. I mean, uh, announcing that they have acquired Bethesda and, and their studios and stuff like that. And now they're going away <laughs> with Activision Blizzard acquirement. It is simply incredible. Now, we do not know what will this entail for, like, say, Call of Duty yearly releases. Will there be changes? Will they continue on with the yearly releases now and on? But, you know, kind of questions as well. Like, what will this mean with the exclusive uh, games, right? For example, Call of Duty was never exclusive to any particular uh, platform, but now it is, well, is there a possibility that it will be only on Xbox? Will it also be coming to PlayStation? Will PlayStation be completely abandoned? PlayStation will be doing their own thing while Xbox, or well, in this case, Microsoft, uh, you know, with Activision and Blizzard, will be doing their own thing. You see, like, we, don't, we do not know a lot of these stuff and kind of makes you question. Okay, now I definitely wanted to touch on this. This is coming straight from Phil Spencer and there's an article. I want to read this out to you all and, uh, you know, maybe we can actually pick up some things. By the way, I have not read this yet, so it's going to be, you know, news to me anyway. So, as a team, we're on a mission to extend the joy and community of gaming to everyone on the planet. We all know that gaming is the most vibrant and dynamic form of entertainment worldwide. And we experience the power of social connection and friendship that gaming makes possible. As we pursue that mission, it is incredibly exciting to announce that Microsoft has agreed to acquire Activision Blizzard. Over many decades, the studios and teams that make up Activision Blizzard have earned vast wellsprings of joy and respect from billions of people all over the world. We are incredibly excited to have the chance to work with the amazing, talented, dedicated people across Activision Publishing, Blizzard Entertainment, Beanox, Demonware, Digital Legends, High Moon Studios, Infinity Ward, King, Major League Gaming, Radical Entertainment, Raven Software, Sledgehammer Games, Toys for Bob, Treyarch, and every team across Activision Blizzard. My god. Until this transaction closes, Activision Blizzard and Microsoft Gaming will continue to operate independently. Once the deal is complete, the Activision Blizzard business will report to me as a CEO of Microsoft Gaming. Upon close, we will offer as many Activision Blizzard games as we can within Xbox Game Pass and PC Game Pass, both new titles and games from the Activision Blizzard's incredible catalog. We're also announced today that Game Pass now has more than 25 million subscribers. As always, we look forward to continuing and add more value and more great games to Game Pass. The fantastic franchise across Activision Blizzard will also accelerate our plans for cloud gaming, allowing more people in more places around the world to participate in the Xbox community using phones, tablets, laptops, and other devices you already own. Activision Blizzard games are enjoyed on a variety of platforms, and we will plan to continue to support those communities moving forward. As a company, Microsoft is committed to our journey for inclusion in every aspect of gaming, among both employees and players. 
We deeply value individual studio cultures. We also believe that creative success and autonomy going hand in hand with treating every person with dignity and respect. We hold all teams and all leaders to its commitment. We're looking forward to extending our culture to proactive inclusion to the great teams across Activision Blizzard. Around the world, there's no more exciting vein for fun and connection than the video games. And there has never been a better time to play than right now. As we extend the joy and community of gaming to everyone, we look forward to welcoming all of our friends at Activision Blizzard to Microsoft Gaming. Just wow, like this information, this news is, is simply incredible. It's also kind of confusing the way that, you know, there's been issues going on with Activision Blizzard, obviously, with the developers, you know, just, I don't want to get into that, but like, after this acquirement and acquisition, I should say, I don't know how will it be changed for the better. And of course, until the official announcement of this acquirement and that has happened, you know, with the finalization, and mind you, you're already pretty much done. So I'm still very curious to see where is this going to head towards being of, you know, games that Activision Blizzard producing, right? Overwatch, like I said, Call of Duty. I'm curious more about it than anything is really Call of Duty. It's still going to continue with its yearly releases. Uh, like, what's going to be happening now? Will they continue? Uh, you know, it's just, I wonder. And, you know, I don't think it's going to get worse. In fact, I kind of want to say it's going to get better. The only problem, you know, it, it is a problem, though. Like I said at the beginning with the commentary, what about the exclusives? Like, you know, what is going to happen now? Like, all these games, are they only going to be coming to Xbox or Xbox platforms? And, you know, what about PlayStation? Are they going to get abandoned now? What about Nintendo and stuff like that? Still, there's a lot of things that needs to be answered. But perhaps, and unfortunately, of course, I don't think we're going to find this out at least not any time soon. Perhaps until the next release of Call of Duty or whatnot, then we will find out this answer. If we, what we should be expecting from them on, you know, with the releases and exclusive exclusivities. Well, man, this is, it's a big day. It's, I don't know, like, I feel like this is even more substantial to me, at least, than Bethesda acquirement. And, I mean, take two acquiring with a you know, mobile phone, studios and stuff like that like with 12 billion dollars using it right and microsoft acquiring um like bethesda studios and stuff as animax and stuff right like what was it like 12 billion or something but now we're hearing the news that they acquired activision for almost 70 billion <laughs> what it is absolutely insane well, I don't know how to wrap this up, but I think I'm just going to wrap this up. <laughs> all right, like and subscribe, guys. See you guys all. and Have a wonderful day.